Hey, what's up? This is not financial advice. I'm not a financial advisor, so don't base anything I say out these videos. I'm just doing it for pure entertainment purposes only. Just uh, want to jump in real quick. Basically, it's tracking how we thought it would, um, give or take some change, like I said, 12, 13. Um, was where I was thinking we would land before we start knifing back down. We may still jump up a little bit, but I do anticipate some sort of like a... I mean, we're going down pretty pretty good right now compared to where we started the morning. So I wouldn't, I wouldn't be shocked to see this thing kind of knife down by the end of the week, which isn't necessarily a bad thing because I want to load up on some more. And then I think when we jet back up to the $12 or $13 range the next round... Obviously, we didn't make 12 or 13 this time, so it could play out that way still. I mean, we could still get to 12 or 13 and then knife back down again. So, I want to make that clear. Like, originally I said I thought we'd hit 12 to $13, give or take some change, and then go down and then bounce back up to 12 or 13, and then I thought we'd see a rip or a boost or a whatever you want to call it. Um, not a molass necessarily. I would love for it to happen. It could happen. Very well could happen at that point, but um, I'm thinking... I'm thinking one or two scenarios play out here. I think we keep dipping down for a little while, a couple days, then we jump back up probably next week, maybe the end of this week, back into that twelve or thirteen dollar range. And this is scenario one. From that, we just keep climbing, climbing, climbing up to like the twenty, thirty dollar range. Um, from there, we probably see some dilution, something like that. My guess. Second scenario, um, we still climb up to like a twelve, thirteen dollar range kind of do the same thing we did here dip down to like 10 or 9 and then reset back to the 12 or 13 and then same scenario um, climb up to the 20 30 probably see some dilution um, third scenario it just rips um, squeezes at any point um, the next few days between now and like next week that's a possibility just from the way it looks. Um, if you track fractals and stuff like that, um, it definitely could happen that way. I don't necessarily think it will, but I would love for it to happen. So don't get me wrong there. I, I would love for that to happen. I just don't see it playing out that way. I think this thing's going to drag out. I think this thing's going to drag out. Unpopular opinion, but I still think we got a couple years, man, before this thing actually hits its mo ass. I would love for it to happen sooner, but that's just my opinion. Have a good day. Be blessed. Don't forget there's other stocks out there you can make money off of. In the meantime, uh, for me personally, um, I'm still steady in AMC investing. Um, uh, taking the opportunity right now to take a couple of my brokers and consolidate it into two or three brokers only. I have started out with like six brokers. I went down to five, now four. I'd rather keep it down to like two to three brokers. Um, but yeah, that's my opinion. Have a good day. Be blessed. Hopefully we'll get rich soon. Peace.